I think it's really, I think there's one other variable there that I think is uniquely hurting Tesla today that frankly helped them for years. And that is, if you look at the average Tesla buyer, it's a tech, it's a white collar tech male tech worker. I believe and have called us heading into a white collar recession. We're already seeing tech layoffs. Uh, tech, generally speaking, leans Democratic versus Republican. You highlighted it earlier. Elon has had some interesting tweets that alienates one of those sides. And he's it seems it seems like everything is like everything that was working for Tesla for two years is now not working. It's just it seems how the, the current has changed. Kind of like Facebook, you know, becoming yeah. meta. So, I mean, you know, that's what happens. And, you know, Elon, he's the richest man in the world. He didn't care. He can do what he wants. And, you know, but it's really funny when you see, you know, liberal columnists come out and say, driving this car makes me feel embarrassed for who I am. I don't yeah. think I can do it anymore. And, you know, that's out there in the mainstream. It is. Now. I've seen it. Um, I've seen people that have just nasty cancellations. Like Tesla asked, why'd you cancel your order? Somebody said, because Elon Musk is a blah, 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 blah. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Wow. That's, so, you know, that's tax passion. Credits, affordability, you know, market share is being threatened. Uh, yeah. And, you know, and it's going to continue. So what happens? Competition brings efficiencies and brings prices down. So you need that, right? He was the only game in town for a long time. He was, yeah. you know, at that level. And, you know, great car, great technology. The batteries are what really needs to change in the industry. That's the biggest, you know, Achilles heel of the industry is the batteries. Sure. So once the technology of how do you power an EV sustainably and not have to stop every so often and charge for 30 minutes or an hour, you know, that will get more efficient. You know, technology disruptive innovation gets more efficient over time. So you have to look down the road and see who's entering the market, who the players are, what their, what their, you know, first mover advantages are. And Tesla had the first mover advantage that's now going away, as yeah. did Facebook. But, you know, they took their eye off the ball with this whole meta thing. They never should have yeah. changed the name. They never should have done that. That's an investment. You work on that. Should have spun off another company. Should have yeah. been its own thing. Right. I yeah, exactly. Agree. He didn't change Instagram. You know, he didn't change no. Facebook and Instagram. When, you know what I mean? So, um, so anyways, that's how I look at it. I don't get caught up in the themes and the memes and the cults and all that. I'm a businessman, right? There's an right. opportunity. No, exactly. Yep. So you buy low, you sell high, you know, and you could argue real estate's even more like emotional. People get more emotional and irrationally exuberant over real estate than they do yeah. like stocks. So it's just that what's happened is, and where a lot of that's coming from, is that the gamification during the you know 2020 with Robin Hood and all these other things and the meme stock craze? You know, you've got a, you know a younger demographic coming in, mm. and you know they've never seen or been through any economic cycles. Right. You know, all they know is up only. All they know is you know hey Tesla's. Yeah. A great they know recovery. a V-shaped recovery. They know a recession lasts like four minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, V-shaped recoveries, and you know to their credit and to our credit prior to 2009, that's all we saw either until yeah. 2009 happened. You know, and then we learned a big lesson. Things don't always go up forever. And I thought they would. I'm like, they ain't making no more real estate. It only has one way to go. Only goes now, one way. Yeah. yeah. Over the history of time, everything has gone one way. And as these markets correct, they will continue to go up. But, you know, they have to correct. They need to spend some time. And that's the problem is you can spend some time. You can spend years in the valley, you know, before you you really start you know going up. So you got to take some profits and you got to you know buy and sell. But you know, as far as as far as Tesla goes, I think, you know, they're they've obviously lost a lot of market share. They're going to continue to lose losing more market share and they need to really innovate. You know, so what I would challenge Elon with and Tesla is you were you were the first movers. You were the innovators. Now you need to innovate on the charging and the powering of that technology. You need to be the first mover there and you will get all your market share back. If you can eliminate a battery and eliminate yeah. having to charge and all that kind of stuff and still be an EV somehow or some mm -hmm. other alternative source of power, which people are exploring that, that's mm -hmm. what they need to be coming out with next. And, you know, moving to, to the next level to, to really lead innovation in the space. But I, you know, I think they've maxed out on that. Yeah.